Hey, hey, budgeting friends. Welcome back to a weekly check-in. I have just been kind of transferring. So my monthly budget I did on a printable sheet so that everybody could kind of see how that works um, if you were interested in them and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm just now transferring because I did them on like an 11 by 8 paper here. I'll show you. I did it on an 11 by 8 paper. If I can get these out of here. Here we go. Here is my budget. Um, right here. Um, just so that you could see how our new printables are working. I have actually been loving this. Um, it's been letting me kind of like scratch out kind of things that we wanted to do and just kind of see how the numbers are. But, um, I transferred all of this information into my planner now, because obviously that is my main, this is just to kind of show you how that would work. Um, and for people that don't, you know, have the planners and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what I was doing and um, I, I transferred it a little bit ago, but then I needed to do my transaction log and seeing that y'all had sold me out of the, um, transaction log and the sinking fund stickers. So I had to print some of my own. So that is all done. Um, and yeah, we have lots of transactions. I am going to do week one and I believe week two. Let's see where we're at. Because today is technically the 16th. Yeah. So week one and week two. Um, and get that all done. See where we're at. Um, and kind of figure everything out. Um, I do believe that we're a little bit close and tight again this month. Um, even though I gave us a little bit of wiggle room. But it is what it is. And we're going to... We'll get through this like little patch. Um, if you did not watch that budget video, definitely go back and do that. We are finally out of the red and just regular expenses. Um, and yeah, and I do believe I'll maybe be able to even add a little bit more than 800. We'll see. We have not gotten our stimulus. So unfortunately I wish I was able to put that into our budget, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'll have to go and figure all that out. Um, it, yeah, there's just tech stuff that I got to get taken care of still, and we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but all right. It seems like really dark over here today, and I don't know why, but let's see if we can all put together um, and see where we're at. Gas is definitely one that I'm kind of worried about. Again, I've been... Uh, We've been just all over the world. You've seen that, you know, I have tons and tons of practices. Hopefully this is the last week of maybe going out to the Fenton area um, once a week. So we'll see how that works out for us and maybe that will lessen. But, at, you know, the more my gas is going up is because I am picking up a side hustle of door dashing and that's been taking a ton of gas. Um, I am now switching over to my husband's car sometimes, which gets better gas mileage. Um, to save a little bit of gas too, but we'll see. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is eating out and uh, the first week we go to the sixth. So really it's only until here, even though I'm guessing a lot of this was the sixth. Let's go see actually, because this is when my lovely bank, yep, actually everything but the subway is honestly the sixth. Yep. Everything but the subway is up until the sixth. Even some of the, my bank, um, doesn't approve my, you know, it, they're pending in there until Monday. So then it throws off my dates here and throws off my weekly. So I have to go back and check that out. So, all right. So eating out is eight thirty six, but this is a point that I need to do because I told my husband that I would start doing this so and send these numbers to him so that he knows where we're at also. Um, and I just haven't done this. I should have done it last week. I just didn't get to it. Um, and yeah, well, he needs to know because I believe that he needs to um, kind of stop eating. <laughs> we got to stop eating out. Okay, everything but the subway, I said. So those ones are all of week one. Um, I knew, like, this was going to happen. This was when we went to um, 
Ohio to meet our new nephew. Um, and so there was some extra spending in here that, uh, you know, probably wouldn't have happened on a regular, you know, week. <laughs> so, okay. So we spent 66 29. I'm guessing that we're just like not even going to be able to go out this month to eat because we've spent it all in fast food, unfortunately. Um, I do have gift cards that we might be able to use to do to go out this month, but we'll see. I don't know. All right. So there's that color. Let's use gray for gas. Um, 46. 52, 3309, oops, I'm not, 3376. All right, so we've already spent $113.37, 11337. So we have 286.63 left. Um, as far as groceries, I'm kind of upset with myself. I haven't even really went grocery shopping um, yet. Technically, I haven't done my big grocery haul. Um, and I feel like my grocery budget is already busted. Um, because I have been just going for little things over and over again, and that is not my way of grocery shopping. Um, because I haven't prepared myself. I just, am, I am very behind and yeah, I mean like, look at that. I've already spent 73 and I know there's a $70 order right there. Uh, so 73.34. So it's going to get a little tight, even though I do have some return, um, some Ibotta rewards. Um, I have Ibotta, uh, uh, Ibotta rewards and I'm now using this new gas app called, um, get up. I think it's called, I'll leave a link below. You guys can sign up. Um, and I've already taken $20 draw off of that too. So I have about $50 cause I think I have 30. I just got, I just reached 30 and I bought a, and I had 20 in gas. Um, so I have about $50 if I need to put into this of, um, that type of thing. So cash back type stuff. And that's how I use, I do use that towards my budget to help us with it. Okay. There was no household. Oh, there is a household right here. I just went back and tried to figure out what this Walmart order was and it was a household. So 3828. Um, I also have another thing in week two that I need to figure out how I am dealing with that 21 or 6172. Um, you'll see that here in a minute, but all right. And last but not least, oh, household. I'm just going to cross it because I didn't bring out all those type of colors today. Three dollars. Nine fifty four. This, this is our Nespresso. Uh, it's not a good spending, but it's needed because I'll do that or I'll go spend money at Big B. So, um, you might as well, I guess. <laughs> $50 will last me two months instead of like 25 a week. So, I decided to do it that way. I don't know how my budget's going to like it, but we'll see. All right. So, we spent $83.03. That's going to be, <sighs> got to get our spending under control, 66.97. Got to get that under control one day. Okay. Um, now I have to make these smaller because I didn't leave room for 
unbudgeted and I know there is an unbudgeted in the next one groceries household spending unbudgeted all right and it is 8371 286 63 176 66 61 72 66 97 and 0 all right so keep on going here okay so what it was the eat oh, green 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 so 340 386, 771, 939, um, and I go all the way to the 13th. Okay, so $55.20. Yep, we're going to be done. $5.20 minus $83.71. We have $28.51 left. Guess what's great? Can't even think here. Okay. 4418. I gotta hurry. My camera's gonna run out of space here. Hmm, guess. So 114, so about the same. Okay, I mean, we're spending, at least I'm starting to see trends here. 114.37. At least I'm seeing a little bit of a trend here in what we're kind of doing in gas, even though like in a week or two, it's gonna be done again. <laughs> but you know, that's why you wanna keep track of this because sometimes you can start to see trends in what you're spending. And you know, especially for things like gas, um, you know, Gas is just something that you have to budget for um, if you have places to go, like work. Like, there's just stuff you have to budget for. Um, spending is something that you can control. Eating out is something you can control. Gas is, unfortunately, not the most things that you can control all the time. 318078 so things like this, this is Amazon. This was a purchase of masks for my son um, and socks for my son. Um, and eventually I want to take that. That shouldn't be in our spending because technically our spending is me and my husband's allowance. And technically that probably pro most likely should have went into like a household or I should make like a kid's like fund or something along those lines. Um, cause that's, I mean, that was $31 of the 75 that each of us get. And that really technically should not be in there, but I need to fix that. I don't just, I don't know how at this point though. So, Oh no, I did that the wrong one. Okay. Minus 1930. I'll have to remind myself. Okay, 336. Um, I was doing spending, not grocery. Okay, $10. And that's it there. So 6148. What did we have left? Oh, we're still we're still under. But we gotta just 
um, oops, I forgot to write down how much we did. Plus 66, 97, 61.48 is what we spent. Okay. So, we're, you know, not horrible. All right. So the last one on this one is an unbudgeted of 1721. And I don't think we had another unbudgeted. Nope. Um, that was a blade for a food, my, our food processor that I conveniently figured out that I threw away at some point cleaning. I've thrown away, I threw away the blades thinking it was to another machine that we had already thrown away. My bad. <laughs> and that stunk. All right. No groceries on this side and I've done this one so I just want to cross that out no groceries on that side and then I had a $19 here we go um, all right and grocery was yellow so that grocery of 1930 and then 7401 there so $93.31, $93.31, so I have 83, okay, we'll make it, I can make it on that, plus, I will make it on that, plus even just 20 more dollars, I'll make it on $100, I should be able to make it on $100 more dollars in, um, in there, so. I'm, I'm happy about that. Okay. That, and then 52 99. So this was a pair of shoes for my son. He needed a pair of basketball shoes. And that is what I'm talking about. Like I took it out of household. Um, and because I had already taken out one out of our spending. Um, and now I have went over in the household. So Hopefully we don't need anything for the rest of the month. I got to figure that out. That is something I have to figure out. Oh, I didn't do gas. 86, 63 minus 114.37. So at least this is looking much better than last month. Let's go to week two of last month. Oh, no, I'm lying. Yeah. So I was already over $80 in two categories. We were about to be over and eating out groceries. We were about the same. Um, yeah, so we're doing better. We're only over really technically $11. This unbudgeted is 17 and I've already used a lot of the household for, uh, I used that household went up went over. My kid didn't need shoes and I didn't prepare right for that. So a lot of budgeting is preparing the right way for things. Hold on. Your camera's going to die. Okay. Anyways, what I was saying, I have a few more minutes now, um, is that budgeting is sometimes all about just setting yourself up for success and budgeting in the things that you know that are going to be needed. So yes, my kid needed shoes. I don't have a sinking fund for kids or kids clothes. That could be something that we need to think about. Um, Actually, it's something that we definitely need to think about, especially with them. They will be going back to school next year, so the kids will need new school clothes for next year. So I will be making that. I, I swear our sinking funds list is going to be the size of this in literally no time. And I always said that I wasn't going to get that far because we don't have that much money to be setting aside. But these are just things that are coming up and they're plummeting in our budget. So it's things that we do need to save for. I mean it is what it is. We have to make things priority. You know, we want to go on vacation. So if we want to make vacation a priority, it needs to be a priority. So, um, if that means picking up another DoorDash or like I keep on telling you guys, my photography business is going to make a comeback once this weather gets going and everything, I swear it will be there and there will be more money to go into the budget. Um, these are things that we easily took care of before. So, and a I am not putting anything. I mean, yes, I could have put that on a, you know, on a charge card and paid for it next month or paid for it over time, but that's just not how we do things. So, you know, I, I my budget's going to go over. So we'll find the $11. Um, 
I will take care of it. We'll figure it out. Um, I, I'm, we're working hard. Um, so things like, um, this baseball, um, we actually have more money set aside for this, um, because I've been doing plasma. Um, and so we have about $600 saved for this baseball fund, though it's already put towards a baseball thing that we have coming up that I know that we needed $600 to pay for. Um, so this is now just like going towards dues for next year. So that we're saving and saving and saving. So yes, it needs to be saved, but it doesn't need to be like hounded. Um, I'm just very glad that I've already taken care of that because that last year was a big stressor for us and then it didn't happen. Um, so I'm holding it down. <laughs> um, regardless of how my business is doing, we're gonna, we're gonna do okay. Um, it is just about how hard you want to hustle. And right now I'm hustling hard. So with that being said, I need to get going on these YouTube channel videos because I've been slacking there because I've been doing other things. Like, honestly, you can only do so much on your plate, right? Like this, I haven't even done my, um, my business budget for last month. It's the 15th. I need to do that. I need to do a business budget for March and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, lots on my plate, but I'll slowly chip away at it. Um, and hope and pray for the best and, um, work very hard for the next thing. We are working very hard, but so far I'm much happier with March than I am. And I am just so happy with this kit guys. This kit is so gorgeous. I just love March. I'm probably going to take March off of it and just make it a budget kit because I just love this kit so much. Um, so that you can order it when it's not March. And yeah, because I just, I love this green. Doesn't anybody else leave in the comments if you just love this green, I love it. So, all right, and I'm not even a green person. So thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to do those weekly check-ins. You will see where it is. I'm about to send my husband these numbers and be like, whoa, well, we have $28 left in our eating budget. Um, and my kids are gonna watch Shamrock Shakes tonight. It's going to be St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. They're probably going to want them tonight or tomorrow. And I'll probably tell them today because tomorrow will be crazy and half the McDonald's won't have um, ice cream available tomorrow probably because of Shamrock Shakes. So I'll probably do that tonight and half more of that budget will be gone. But everything will be okay. So thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new and thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you are not, I would love you to give me a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Bye.